Future Looks Computex 2011 coverage is brought to you by Kingston's new HyperX plug and play memory kits, NZXT's crafted gaming armor, and Gigabyte's G1 Killer Series gaming motherboards. Hi, this is Jacob from Noctua. Welcome to Noctua at Computex 2011. I will give you a brief overview about our new products shown at the show. Uh, we've got a new uh, low profile cooler. Uh, it's a dual fan design, 120 millimeter fan on top, 92 millimeter fan underneath. Uh, you can run it with uh, both fans for full performance or uh, take off the top fan to further reduce the height. This way you can bring it down to uh, 66 millimeters, so it really fits quite small cases. It's ideal for quietly cooling HDPCs or small gaming rigs if you want. Uh, we've also worked on uh, some much bigger coolers. These are still in early prototype stage. This is a huge downdraft design, uh, dual 120 millimeter fans. Uh, fin stack with 20% more surface area than our award-winning NHD14 cooler. It uses seven heat pipes to really achieve massive cooling performance. And as usual with downdraft designs, you get excellent airflow over your RAM, over uh, your voltage regulators and, and other components around the socket. It's also got uh, 70 millimeters of RAM clearance, so you can fit pretty much any RAM module on the market. The next prototype, uh, also still in a very early stage, uh, follows the same uh, path, but with a slightly different idea. We wanted to offer better performance, but without, uh, uh, without hurting compatibility. Uh, so this, this one uses a triple stack design. You can see it's got uh, three fin stacks, uh, so both of the fans blow over two fin stacks to improve airflow efficiency. Uh, but at the same time, compatibility is excellent because the outer uh, fin stacks uh, are set very high, so you've got 70 millimeter of clearance for your RAM modules. We've got a brand new uh, version of our award-winning NHD14 cooler. We've modified two points. Uh, first off, we've got a recessed fin design here. So if you move up the front fan, you've now got 60 millimeter of space for your RAM modules. And the second improvement is that we're now using an alternating fin design. You can see every second fin is moved back slightly, uh, so we get less airflow resistance. And at the same time, we could increase the fin count to 50. So we've got more surface area, less airflow resistance, which results in better performance in the end. We've also worked on a design for those who care about uh, RAM compatibility even more, who don't want uh, even the fan to overhang their RAM slots. It's a slim tower design. Uh, built for either one or two 140mm fans and it's so slim that even the fan won't overhang the RAM. So you've got free access, you can put uh, additional fans to your RAM as you wish. It uses seven heat pipes and this brings it uh, quite close in performance to the big boys. Of course it's not exactly on the same level but it comes pretty close and at the same time offers even better compatibility. Uh, and as you know uh, Sandy Bridge E is just around the corner so uh, we've been working on our mounting kit for uh, LGA 2011. It's the same uh, sturdy, proven SecuFirm 2 design uh, that we've used for the last years, just made compatible with the new socket. And as usual, uh, it's compatible with all of our coolers back to 2005. So even if you've used a Noctua, if you've bought a Noctua cooler six years ago, uh, you can still make it compatible with 2011. And the best thing at last, it will be as always with our mounting kits free. So you just have to upload a proof of purchase on our website and we'll send out the kit for free. Last but not least, Nocto is of course always about uh, quietness, about effectiveness in uh, fan performance. So we've also got a new fan this year. It's called the Focused Flow Fan. It uses uh, a set of uh, stator guide vanes to uh, channel and focus the airflow. And this way we can achieve uh, better performance on heat sinks and radiators. You can see an illustration here. Uh, it shows uh, one of our NHU12P coolers. You can see the heat pipes here and the fin stack with a conventional fan on the left and uh, one of the new focused flow fans on the right. And as you can see, the focused flow fan removes the heat just much more effectively. Another uh, new feature we're using here is the so-called stepped inlet design. You can see the little steps at the inlet. It uh, works similar to a golf ball. You know, a golf ball has dimples to have less air resistance when uh, it flies through the air. 
Uh, and this is especially uh, important in uh, restricted uh, environments. For example, if you've got a case panel sitting here, the fan can just draw in more air and work more effectively. These little dents uh, inside uh, the fan frame uh, help to build up a boundary layer. So the tips of the blades, uh, we've showed in the illustration here, the tips of the blades move through this boundary layer. And when they move to, through the boundary layer, we have uh, less flow separation uh, from the top side of the blade. The flow stays attached more closely to the blade and this makes the fan more effective overall. And uh, this will be the first fan to feature the new SSO2 bearing. Uh, the difference uh, with the second generation of our SSO bearing is that we've now uh, moved uh, the rear support magnet closer to the axis. You can see a little illustration here. The, ax uh, the, the magnet is now moved closer to the axis and this way the stabilization effect uh, achieved uh, by the magnet is even stronger so we get better precision, better reliability and better longevity. This is also our first fan to have uh, integrated uh, anti-vibration pads so if you put it on your heatsink or radi radiator it will not transmit any vibrations. You can also take them off if you like if you haven't got space to use them. And last but not least it will be our first fan uh, to have PWM so we've custom, custom designed our own IC um, which integrates our smooth commutation drive uh, technology. So uh, this, one, this fan will be uh, for those who want to have uh, better performance on their air coolers and water cooling radiators, but who are concerned about uh, quietness of operation uh, at the same time. Thank you very much for watching. It's been a pleasure to show you our news and bye-bye uh, from Noctua.